Hi, this is Lou. Hi, it's Leanne or Lean. We're going to do something a little different today. Are we looking at some of Leanne's LT Marshall? Well, she's known as LT Marshall. She's the author, but uh, her to her first TV series out. So we're going to look at some of the cute little trailers for it. So, so if you guys want to know a little bit more about what Lean does and what she writes, this is a, her book that's been made into a TV series. Yeah. So, so this book is called Awaken and Rejected Wait. Oh, no, Awaken and Rejected Me. <laughs> and it's a book one of two. It was picked up by this shorts TV company. And it's obviously not exactly the same as the books. If you want the full story, you have to read the books. And uh, apparently it's really popular. It's got a lot of viewers and a lot of fans and I keep getting a lot of messages about it. I have watched the full thing, but Louise has never seen it because I was too cringed to show it to Louise. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so Lean's getting into that whole industry. So like, obviously this is a, ver a newer company and they haven't done fantasy before, so they are trying. Um, yeah. And they did a fairly good job. There was some things that they missed but there were some things that they did really well with. So, um, so, but her, the rest of her series is also getting like the, her book series, like other book series are getting made into, um, books, uh, uh, films as well, or TV series as well. And that's going to yeah. be kind of cool. Cause that's like a mafia series. So, yeah. So there's after this one, this one will be, they'll be making the second one to this book and then they'll be moving on to my Carrero series, which is three trilogies. So that's going to be three separate TV shows, but it's not only being made by one TV company. There's actually a second company want to make their own version of Carrero series. So there'll be two sets of three TV shows by two <laughs> different companies for the same books. Yeah. Well, sadly, the only thing we can show you today, Louise, is trailers, because even though I requested some episodes to show you, unfortunately, they have not come back to me with them yet. Because the episodes are paid episodes, I think they don't really want me sharing them. So you're just going to have to cringe at all the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. And uh, yeah, this is embarrassing. Like, you know what it's like where authors are terrible for this. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's fine. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean. Just remember, who you chose as your mate. You chose me. They changed their surnames to Miller, which I was really bummed about. It's meant for you and all of this. Every right to be mad. Well, if anyone should be mad, it's Lori. I denied the face and abandoned her. I do like the whole Green tribal patches. thing they've got going on here. Like, they've made them kind of like a little bit wilderness. I like it. I know that I. I... Oh, betrayal. Can we talk? Just... How many needs to control herself when she's in there? You don't need to explain. This whole situation's a mess. Laura, and despite her being the one I need to work things out with, I can't stop thinking that. Please, you're making this harder than it is. I just don't know why the fates would throw us together like this. You know better than to question the fates, God. Don't tend to curse. Why not? They made us love each other, but we can't ever act on it. This is a curse. I can't even be around you without someone busting my ass. Or He's a good actor. They both you don't are. even know me before yeah. that night. You don't even remember me, do you? Carmen was the woman that you loved and that you planned a life with, and, and you have made your choice. You you have made it loud and painfully clear. I can see the lean oh, angsty. <laughs> That's very That's very K drama angsty. I like it. <laughs> I'm not angsty. The whole book is very angsty, but I mean, they did good, I suppose. Like when you watch the whole thing, at first I wasn't sure, but then as an author, you have this idea in your head how a show should turn out. And then when they obviously had to slim it down and take parts out and even reduce the amount of characters, because it's got way more characters in it, I was kind of disappointed. But seeing how I've watched it objectively, like, I've got like the whole series on my phone. I've watched it a couple of times now and I realized they did a good job. Like the main actress, she's really good. Like she the is. more you watch her, she's really pretty too. And I'm kind of glad they went with a girl that wasn't stick thin, that she's yeah. 
curvier because the girl in the book Laura is not supposed to be like supermodel perfect she is like a more natural homely girl and yeah. uh, there was a couple of places that annoyed me they took out a character who's a super important to book two and it I don't know how they're going to fix that because he doesn't exist in this entire like series and he needs to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But overall, I think it's it's okay. Like, what I did you it. think? Of? It was kind of cringy because it's my story. <laughs> I want to see more. Show me one more clip. I'll show you another one. So I'm guessing this is where they imprinted on each other. Uh, like her awakening when her wolf like finally becomes one where I can smell you. Well that was disgusting. I can smell you. <laughs> you did you not write that? Did they add that? No, they added that. <laughs> this whole scene was supposed to be like a really like emotionally um, Poignant moment and they just imprinted. Silence. We got the line, I can smell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suppose though it's really hard to translate to visuals what is going on emotionally and mentally in a book. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you have to have a... is not my favorite line. <laughs> <laughs> a wee bit of, you know creative license taken there <laughs> what have you done? so he's supposed to be his dad and the alpha of the pack that little short man <laughs> oh that's yeah, there wasn't much to that one like, I literally have all 97 episodes. I think there's 96 or 97. And uh, some of them are actually, like, there was some bits that were really impressive. Like, there's a part where she ends up in a facility. I can't say too much because people, in case they read the book. She ends up in a facility, and the way I described it in the book is very specific to, the like, the vision I had. And they nailed it. Like, they absolutely nailed it perfectly. The place that they filmed it literally came out of my head. Like, I was even shook. And I was like, how they found a place that perfectly matches every part of that facility, the corridors, where she gets held, even where her room faces and what she sees and where the other person and the other... Like, it's exact. And I That's was amazing. like, holy crap. That's like the best part of this whole series is that <laughs> one building <laughs> I was like now I want to go be in that building just because I'm like that is out of my book well but, you yeah. know the thing is is like it's really hard as an author to see your book being trans like transformed into onto the screen because like it's really hard to get your vision across yeah the control freaks in us really yeah. fight hard <laughs> well and when they yeah sorry <laughs> no sorry I interrupted you I was like when they were first sending me the script in the beginning they, to show me like some of their initial changes I was really not on board with them and I critiqued quite a few so they just stopped sending me the script. <laughs> 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 we're done we we're like yeah you you have enough you don't have too much to say you just butt out <laughs> so then I've kind of got to that stage now where I'm just kind of like you know what screw it you do what you do it's not affecting my books in any way if anyone wants to know the like story and the plot and they like your show enough they're going to come read the books and then they're yeah. going to get all the bits that are missing and the plot like that makes it make more sense yeah but well, it is decent it seems to have fans so well the thing is as well is like you you're using an asian company to take your english book and put it into an english script but using an Australian cast, <laughs> using an Australian class, and then using translators. So they did a really good job considering all of that, you know. They did. I mean, if I was going to nitpick, the only thing that actually bothers me out of the whole thing is the fact that they changed the pack name to Miller. Because if you watch a lot of Chinese drama that has been made by these little companies, they take um, like books quite often and they always give the white people the name Miller. <laughs> Like, I have watched so many Chinese adaptations of books and every single one of them is Miller. And I was like, what bugged me the most is the pack name was Santo. 
because they were Colombian, right? It's like, it doesn't matter that you didn't use Colombian actors because it's a pack name. Yeah. Pack name is nothing. You could have just kept this at all. Like, that's the only thing that bothered me, really. Yeah. Because it yeah. just felt like they became another Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I'd literally watched three shows the like three weeks before and every single one of them was such and such Miller. I was like, <laughs> really? You've given my character the Miller? That's so so I've become part of the, the family of TV shows where every single main cast male is surnamed Miller. <laughs> but it was funny. But oh. yeah, that's really the only thing. that Well, apart from the missing main character that is just like they're going to have a problem if they make the second one yeah he should have been there and he's not so yeah that, that might be a problem it's it's hard because sometimes you get people that just do the script without reading the whole book through and yeah i feel like that's what happened i feel like even if they did read book one they've definitely not read book two because it doesn't really make it obvious in book one that in book two this character is so important in book one he's kind of just one of the characters and he's kind of there like there's moments where he's more involved than other characters but it's not obvious and i feel like the script writers probably read book one to get a feel for the book and not known yeah. because i said that to them after i seen it and i was like you have like kind of missed out somebody super important <laughs> and anyone who's read the books they're going to know i'm talking about radar and they'll know why and the importance of radar because i've had many 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 emails about it <laughs> <laughs> And but it's also like I think probably affected your book sales. The series has probably helped. Yeah, with when book sales. the series went live for the first few days, I was truly worried that it was going to be a negative thing because the amount of my fans that were messaging me and being unhappy about changes, and I just felt like, oh, have I made a mistake? But then in the few days after that, my book sales quadrupled as people were coming from the show to find the source material. And then in the last month that it's been up, so it's been up for like three or four weeks now, I've consistently been selling a high number of books via Amazon KDP. Like in one month, I've made this the same number of sales that I would normally make in like four or five months. That's fantastic. So, so that's good. They like sending book people my way. And so I'm hoping that means that the show's doing really well and they do finish it and they make the second one, not just for my sake, but for the people who have become fans of it, because there seems to be a lot. Like, I go on TikTok and type in Awakening and Rejected Mate, and you saw how many things I had to scroll through to try and find some tailors for you. There's yeah. stuff that I've never seen. There's hundreds of it. <laughs> it's, <every> it's, <laughs> it's funny, I was on Facebook the other day, and I'm in this group that is, um, I kind of take the mix group out of werewolf romance werewolf romance and they actually posted my show and my book in there and i was like oh no <laughs> i was like <laughs> they were like yes, this is on tiktok like they were the whole point of that group is to take like the utter mech out of werewolf romance like in a funny way and as soon as this that come up i was like oh no <laughs> I was like, what do I do? What do I do? Did I tell them I've been a member of this group for a long time? And, you know, that, yeah, so I did. I kind of subtly replied to one of the comments being like, yeah, that's my book. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, please don't. I can't take it. Well, so, if, yeah. you, if they start, if they name your career or mafia family in New York, Miller, then you're, you're, oh, see, you're, already, you're... I already, I already, I was straight on the messages and I'm, please, please promise me you will not change their name because that is, like, Awakening is not super important that the pack name was changed, it's just annoying, but the literal Carrero series is called the Carrero series. <laughs> All the books have that in the title. All the characters are that surname. Is that like you cannot change their name. I don't care if they're not Italian-Americans. I don't care if they're just... Australian Randalls stay Carrero and it's very like, well, well. <laughs> they should ideally, I think, make the Carrero series an Asian series. Like, yeah, and have them, I like, thought they were going Chinese to do that Mafia with or Korean, I don't know, Mafia or something. So, see, I would have been fine with that. I was happy if they were going to make Awakening with an entire East Asian cast. I really don't care. It would have made more sense to like have the entire cast changed. Yeah. But instead, they went from being um, mostly Colombian, sort of mixed. 
there were some white people in it, but they fully became an Australian cast. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from one person. Yeah. One person had a, an accent that sounded kind of like they were maybe Spanish. But th- that was it. Well, the second company that has approached you for the Carrera series, maybe they'll be open to do it as an Asian well, series. Well, the second company is an American company. Ah, so okay, so, okay. Well. so that's good. You're going to get the, probably the, the right people for the job then. So Hopefully. as far as character Hopefully. goes. so It'll be interesting to see how two different shows of the same exact story come out. Like it, That's the thing I'm the most curious about, how two like. Companies. Some companies are going to approach the exact same story and compete with each other. I feel like it's a time thing right now. I feel like they're racing, <laughs> <laughs> like trying to finalize and get to who starts filming first. Because I feel like if Awakening is popular and gets enough fans, if they put out a story of the same author, you're going to get the people that are curious. So it's whoever puts out first is obviously going to get that first swoop of people. So yeah. I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to go. I'll just sit back and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, One really day, cool. girl, we will have a proper, proper K-drama. Yeah, we will. With- we need to get we it will. done. We've got our scripts for our two K-dramas. So we actually have to start working on them this year. So We do. So, But, you know, I do have an actual Korean book and I have a Chinese book. They are both fully formed, functioning, like, in themselves, published. plots and finished and everything. So you never know. There could be a, an East Asian cast short TV by one of these companies in the near future, depending on how popular these ones are. Yeah, yeah. Well so done. Fingers crossed. Well one done. day I will get Asian drama, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what the aim is to get I into the so K drama. I when I told you, and I was like, it's an Asian company, and you were like, yay! And I was like, well, they're making it in English, and it's an Australian cat. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, how could they? I know, it sucks. Yeah. But it, they did well, considering, so. They did. Like, I, I, like I've like i seen all the complaints about it. And while I understand and I agree with some of the complaints, I think overall they did a really good job. Like, I've yeah. not really got any major complaints, to Just be the CGI wolves and the Oh, Mrs. yeah, just character. the CGI wolves. Please don't put any more CGI wolves in it, any of the future ones. Please, yeah. thank you very much. That wolf yeah. was not <laughs> best. <laughs> and maybe less howling. There was no howling in my books, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How will less no CGI wolves and then we'll be dandy <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well done friend you did a good job and like you you've got a book not many authors can say they have books made into a tv series so um I'm really proud well, of thank you. you for being nice about it you watched all those trailers and not once did you cringe and laugh at me <laughs> no. I cringed and laughed at me <laughs> I didn't I actually watched I think the first two or three episodes of it so um I saw the howling before you saw the CGI <laughs> wolf too like that CGI wolf almost ended me I was like why did that have to hit me in the first couple of episodes I was like I'm taking down <laughs> but yeah I need to watch the rest of the series so um and, I need to and, somehow send you the ones that I have so that you can watch them because I feel like you shouldn't have to be like going through the payment thing because like you're half of lean and low. <laughs> I don't mind going through the payment thing. I just have to. I haven't found time to even like look at the get the app sorted and look at it and do it. So I need to. So. Currently on the app, I looked at it this morning because I haven't looked at it since like the first week it was out. And I was just curious because the first week it was out, when I saw it, it was already at 20,000 viewers. And so I was like, mm, I wonder how many now. I wonder if it's like at maybe even 30,000 viewers. Like, well, that would be amazing. And I opened it, it was 167,000 viewers. That's fantastic. And I was like, whoa, maybe <laughs> I'll make a second one. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. So For an app, that is really good. It's an app that does TV shows. Like, because one of their trending ones that was like in first place was at 160,000 views when I first like downloaded the app to see like a comparison. And that one had been on there for absolutely ages. Yeah. And it was their most watched, and it was like 160,000 views. So I was like, mm, that me- that was that took them a month to get to that. And That's I was like, fantastic. maybe it is popular. Maybe they're not lying. To me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so so to tell the viewer tell everyone where they can see the tv series and where they can you can get your books okay so if you want to watch um so to be honest i would watch the show first and then read the books because if you do it the other way around you'll be like all my readers who then felt disappointed at certain things that were missing so if you want to watch it there's an app called short tv it looks like this it's a little black icon you get it on google play and you can also get it on uh what's that app? Apple. apple one yeah is that is it's just called apple uh, and then you go on to short tv and it's got all these things at the front at the top awakening is usually one of the top ones because i've already been on this it's not there you click on awakening and then you got all the shows but they are pay as you view so it lets you watch, I think, four episodes for free. And then you have to, like, buy coins to watch the rest. But to be honest, it's not that expensive compared to other apps. I thought I was going to have to pay for mine to watch it because I didn't wait for them to send me the promo links. And I managed to watch all the apps in a couple of days, and it didn't really cost me that much. So that's how you get it on the TV show. If you want to read the actual books, which look like this, you need to go on to Amazon or barnes and nobles i think has them also they're on apple books they're on kobo and i can't think what all the platforms are they're on all the major platforms yeah. so the first one is awakening rejected mate which is this one this is book one and the second one is awakening following fate which is book two and they are a complete story there is no major cliffhanger end from these two books that you would need a third book but there is enough opportunity for a third book to come which i'm not saying will never happen because it might thanks so, thanks lee so if you're an e ebook reader it's on pretty much every platform you can imagine for ebooks but if you're a paperback reader i think it's like barnes and nobles amazon i can't think who sells books <laughs> 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 we should know this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like i don't know who sells books book people yeah google. amazon apple google, google you can get yeah, it anywhere all so. those people like obviously we get our books directly from like where they're made we pay author prices to get our own copies yes we buy our own books but uh yeah don't ask me where to buy it i don't know i'll maybe put some links <laughs> yeah. cool and if you guys want to read some romantic suspense i've got a uh, whole series and a half out so i've got the mobile intelligence team series yeah. i'll put it down there and i've got the strike zone series so there's two yeah. series mine are very much like jason Bourne action romance like kind of like if you watched k dramas would be like descendants of the sun kind of yeah thing and so. the k9 yeah k2 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 very much like ji chang wu k2 type feel to my books so yeah so if you're into more tactical more military and more like i always say lou writes intelligent books she <laughs> writes books with a lot of like good research and things are very like on point and very precise and she leaves nothing out when she researches these kind of things you're very yeah. much like if your name wasn't on it as louise don i would think a guy wrote some of your books <laughs> Your attention to detail for tactical military stuff is on point. Yeah. But yeah, I'm more of the soppy, angsty yeah. romance writer. I lose more of the intelligent yeah. romance writer. <laughs> I have a lot of my books have also related to causes so like trafficking or like bringing attention to it or like uh there's something called adoption mafia in Africa so I try and bring in a little bit of a cause to my book so even though it's mm -hmm. romance and adventure and like lots of gooiness and like sassiness there's also a serious side to it as well that I, I usually research for months before you know adding it to my yeah. books so I feel like Louise also likes to make complicated pot plots that yeah. require thinking. <laughs> the many times we work together and I'll be like, we can make this simple scene. And you're like, let's add this and this and this and twist this and turn this. And we can add this and then we'll go back. And I'm like, girl, she just <laughs> needs to walk in the door. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, mine is if mine were made into movies or series, they'd be like a Jason Bourne kind of series. That's Definitely, nice. you would. Yeah, you would be yeah. Jack Reaper. What's it, Jack? Yeah, Jack. Yeah, Reaper. Yeah, that's that it. is exactly, exactly what I think of when I see your books. That dude, Jack. 
What is his name? He's a reaper? What is it? I don't even it know. It is myself. reaper. Yeah. You are a Jack Reaper material. Like, totally. Exactly. Like, if you've been watching the TV show, they be dead of him with the big massive dude. That's got romance in it and everything. That's totally your book. Totally. <laughs> Whereas I am of the Twilight only done better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would agree with you. I'm going to get slapped into next week by Twilight fans now. I don't care. Other people have said it too, okay? (laughs) (laughs) Well, thanks, guys, and thanks for your support on our channel. I know this isn't really music-based, but I thought if anybody wants to get to know us a little bit more and, and like, it's a big deal for Lean to get a TV series, uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to uh, support us in, in any way, so if you're interested in reading that kind of thing or watching that kind of thing so and you do not understand the excitement that lean had in finding out this was an east asian tv company that wanted to do it because my addiction to all east asian drama since i was a very young girl yeah it was like (laughs) then have an australian english show made okay (laughs) (laughs) you're my pain okay she's like my pain (laughs) Yeah, she was like, make the characters Asian. And the Asian company was like, no, we want to make the characters white people. White people. (laughs) Not just any white people. Let's make them Australian, which has nothing to do with your book. (laughs) And I'm like, okay. I just heard not East Asian and I stopped kidding. (laughs) (laughs) All righty. Well, thanks guys for watching. And uh, yeah, and we'll catch catch you in the next one. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.